Meanwhile, the United States says that there has been a good international response to appeals from President Barack Obama's administration to pledge more aid to West Africa. That's coming from the head of the U.S. State Department's Ebola unit, Ambassador Nancy Powell. She however says the affected region still lacks medical facilities, trained medical staff, and proper equipment. A VOA State Department uh, correspondent, Pam Dawkins, has a story. Medical workers like these in Liberia have struggled to keep up with the demands brought on by the region's growing number of Ebola cases. Although more international relief is flowing into West Africa, it falls short of what's needed, according to Robbie Torbe, who is with one of the international medical relief groups working in the region. The international community is behind the curve in terms of the response. Uh, nobody anticipated that the outbreak will be this large in both uh, Sierra Leone and Liberia as well as in Guinea. And uh, we're all trying to play catch up. A growing number of countries are stepping up to answer the United Nations call for $1 billion in assistance to fight Ebola. But one of the biggest challenges to helping victims in West Africa is time, says U.S. Ambassador Nancy Powell. I think it's um, the more and faster piece of getting the response to be very, very robust and getting it delivered fast. And recognizing that in the face, at the same time, you're dealing with a disease that is very deadly. So you can't uh, skip steps. Powell says while there has been a good response to U.S. appeals for assistance, the time factor could continue to drive up mortality rates in West Africa. For each week that we don't achieve 70 percent of the cases being treated in um, areas where there's isolation of, of the patients, and we don't have 70 percent of the bodies recovered uh, within 24 hours in a safe way, there's an estimate that there may be as many as 7,500 new cases per week for each of the delays in not reaching those targets. Powell says it is estimates like this that have been driving U.S. officials to find ways to help resolve West Africa's Ebola crisis.